I want to take a moment just to just show you some of the basic features here for our cell types gizmo. So once you click on the interactive from your classroom page, you want to be in landscape. And if you come down to here to this little box and click on it, these are all the possible examples that we're going to look at in this activity. We're not going to look at every single one, but we're still going to look at a decent amount of them. So in this example, I'm going to pick microalgae. If I left click on that, it will show you what you're going to try to zoom in on area wise. And then if you come back up top here to the microscope tab and click on that, here we are ready to zoom in on these cells. So just like we did in our last activity, we're going to first course focus it under our lowest total magnification, which in this instance happens to be 80x. So I'm going to drag the course knob until I feel like I see it the clearest. You could try to play in also with the fine focus. That's a little bit better there. And now you can start to zoom in. Go to low power, which in this instance is a total of 160x, or total magnification high power on our basic microscopes, which would be 400. Again, 10x eyepiece times a 40x objective to give us that total magnification. So here's our cells. All right, either under low power or high power are going to be the best uh, ways that you can view these specimens close up. So one of the first things you're going to have to do is to estimate the size of one of these cells. To do that, you want to come down and you want to click on the show scale bar. So this bar right here represents under high power 20 micrometers or 20 microns. All right, That's a measurement value that we use when we're uh, looking under a microscope because we're in such small overall specimens. We can't use millimeters, centimeters, inches, etc. We have to use a much smaller measurement value. So we use micrometers. So from left to right of this bar is 20 micrometers. So if I wanted to figure out how big one of these cells are, under high power, I have some adjustments here again where I can drag the slide around. So I could just try to get the black bar at the edge of one of those cells right about there. And try to see how much of that line that the cell takes up. Now this isn't going to be an exact science here but you should still be able to give me an accurate guess of how large these cells are going to be. So I would say from the left of this black bar to right about here is about 10 micrometers or half the black bar. So you could give me an estimate that this cell is in the range of about 9 to 10 micrometers and that's what you record in your lab. And all these cells look pretty much uniform so you can pretty much feel confident that they're all going to be in that 9 to 10 micrometer range. Another thing you might need to do is figure out, okay, what can I actually see within these cells? All right, you might not be able to do that under the low power, but if you come up to high power again, you will have a show labels button. Click on that, and it shows you what everything that's potentially viewable under the microscope actually is. And you get your labels, and you can record that in your data tables as well. If I go back to the low power here, Again, I lose my labels because I'm not close enough to really see anything clearly. But you can see here that if I click on show scale bars again, for some other cell types, it might be easier to do it this way. It shrinks it down because you're not as close up anymore, but this value is still 20 micrometers. So again, if I kind of just drug that around, you can see that that one cell is pretty much covering half this black bar. So again, it looks like we're still in that 9 to 10 micrometer range. And you know that's a safe number to record in your data. To get some further information about the cell type, to answer any questions you may have, you can click on Show Information, and it'll give you additional information that you might need. And last but not least, if I ask you to include a picture of your field of view in your lab, you want to get, again, to the highest power. All right, depending on what I ask you to do in the lab, you might either leave the labels on or simply shut them off. And then what you can do is you can take a screenshot of this field of view using this little camera icon up here. If I left click on that, it takes a screenshot. Eventually that screenshot will be available to me. There it is. I can go and right click on it, copy that image, and then I can go and paste it into my lab that I'm going to be uh, turning in all my work at a later date. So you're going to do this for every one of the cell types that are in this landscape that I'm asking you to accomplish during the lab. 
If you have any questions, make sure that you ask during your class period.